Hi Terra fans, this is Terra Solo Gamer. Today we're going to be talking about the improved Mistel circlet and the improved Transcendent circlet. Now to get the uh, Transcendent circlet in the first place, you're first going to do uh, get your Daylight circlet and upgrade that to an Entropy circlet and then upgrade that to an Ethereal circlet. Once it's Ethereal, then you'll be able to upgrade it. And for those of you who do not know, in your quests under For the Federation, there is a quest called Fresh Arms and Legs. As soon as you get to level 65, that will become available, and that's where you go to get your starter level in-game gear. Uh, and the starter level now is Frost Metal Equipment with Daylight Accessories. Uh, many of us who have been playing for a while know that it used to be Guardian Gear, that you upgraded to Twist Shard, that you upgraded to Frost Metal. But now Frost Metal is the beginning gear instead of Guardian, and the accessories used to start at Prospect, which you would get first, upgrade to Bellum, upgrade to Daylight, but they changed that also so that your starting accessories are Daylight level. So um, some of my, most of my characters actually have at least a couple sets because, um, as well remember, Fresh Arms and Legs used to, you'd go to Dougal and High Watch, and he used to give you your Guardian and Prospect stuff. A long time ago. Later they changed it to where you went to a different part on High Watch and then you went to the goddess uh, Freya and there was a couple other guys there and you went through this whole rigmarole where she would give you one piece of something, you'd have to equip it, and then you'd have to talk to one of the other people, they'd give you another something, you'd have to equip it. You, it was a big, long, drawn-out mess just to give you your gear. And I believe at that point is when they had uh, upgraded it to Frost Metal and Daylight, or maybe it was a little later, I'm not sure. Um, once uh, Blue Hole Studios, people who make this game, found out from a lot of players they didn't like all that extra work just to get their gear, they went back to Fresh Arms and Legs, where you pick it up from Dougal. You literally talk to him for a few seconds, he hands it to you. That's the whole Fresh Arms and Legs quest. It takes like a whole minute. Uh, I don't care where you are or what you're doing. I personally recommend as soon as you hit level 65... Look in your quest for For the Federation, press arms and legs, go get your gear. Because uh, you'll be a lot better off than your leveling gear that you're currently wearing. Uh, if you're in the middle of a quest, you want to finish it up, great. Finish up your quest. But as soon as you're done with that quest, go get your gear. Because uh, you'll be a lot happier. Things will be a lot easier than the leveling gear that you're currently using. Uh, but if you had gone to Goddess uh, Freya and gotten your stuff when they had that going on, and you have not checked your quest lately, check and see if it's active again for, Fre for the Federation Fresh Arms and Legs. Because if it is, go see Dougal. You can get an extra set of uh, Frost Metal Gear and Daylight Accessories. Because like I said, a lot of my characters have an extra set in their inventory just because after they switched it from Freya to Dougal, I went and got another set for all of them. And they're still sitting in my inventory in boxes and whatever, but hey, it's worth it, it's free stuff, go get it, you know, <laughs> but um, I'm here on the Island of Dawn for this one, because I wanted to show you another change they have made, uh, a lot of us are familiar with the Balkan Scout Credit Merchant, if you've been playing for a while, and as you know, right here under equipment, there used to be, you could buy any of the pieces of equipment, and you could buy the accessories, but they were Guardian level and Prospect level, the old starter and game gear which is no longer really in use. Uh, so a few months ago, Blue Hole Studios decided to remove it from this particular merchant because, and, and same in the High Watch, that merchant, they don't, they don't carry it, um, which a lot of people have been complaining about because, of course, some of us would like to have, you know, both the improved Mistels and the improved Transcendent Circlets. Some people have been complaining, and I've had this issue with some of my characters before because they started out that character uh, with accessories that were focused on power. But now they're realizing, you know what, I probably want to go for crit, but now they can't get new accessories to build them up to the crit side. Yeah, so I'm hoping Blue Hole Studios puts the stuff back. I would even be happy if they did it at Guardian Prospect level because it was really easy to enchant those up. But to me, it would have made sense since Frost Metal and Daylight are the new starting gear would have made a lot more sense for them to simply remove the old starting gear and replace it with the new starting gear. So they could put uh, Frost Metal and Daylight back into there so that we can buy the stuff when we need it. 
I don't know if they ever will. I hope they do. I know I've seen in the Discord where someone has put that in as a request. But, you yeah, know, whether the developers decide to put it back or not, I don't know. So let's just warn you that even though you can still buy a Mistel circlet, once you get that Daylight circlet, I don't know of anywhere else in the game to go get another Daylight circlet if you want it. Uh, so you may be stuck having to decide eventually between an improved Mistel circlet or an improved Transcendent circlet. You may not be able to get both simply because you can't get the regular accessory circlet, the daylight anymore. Uh, so, you know, if someone knows where to find uh, another one in the game where you can get it, let us all know. But uh, so, so part of this video is going to be showing you what the different... Uh, bonuses are for each of these circlets to help you decide uh, which one you really want to shoot for, especially since you may be stuck only being able to do one and not both. Uh, and also, if they do put all the stuff back, then it'll still show you which ones you're going to want to shoot for, even if you plan on getting both later, which one you want to go for first. Okay, so I wanted to go through all that. Now, in my inventory, because you can buy them stealth circlets at any time, and because um, I had picked up all the uh, stuff from um, Briar and from Dougal, uh, and, and I may have even bought extra, because some of my characters, I bought uh, extra accessories and things when I saw that they were, because they had posted it on the terra-console.com website first, that they were getting ready to remove all this stuff. So I went and picked up extra stuff so I would have it for later. So you can see I have actually two Daylight Circlets and two Mistel Circlets, which we are going to need. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is the Daylight Circlet, which we will be upgrading to Entropy, to Ethereal, and that's what we're going to need to create an improved uh, Transcendent Circlet. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at my Daylight. And, and normally, you're not going to try to power through it this way. Normally, your Daylight Circlet is goes along with all your other daylight stuff, your rings and your earrings, and you'll be working on getting item experience. You can see I have no item experience for this thing. This character is not one of the ones I usually film with. Uh, I, I usually film with my top 13, which is one of each class, but the problem is I've already given all of them an improved Mistel circlet, and some of them already have the improved Transcendent circlet, but I want to show you the, the whole process here and stuff. So the daylight circlet is what circlet is what you will get from Dougal under fresh arms and legs as part of your entire accessory set. Normally you're going to go through for a while building up item experience points for it before you even attempt to upgrade it. But I'm going to try to power through an upgrade. Uh, but first I got to see what I need. Gold source of glow arch demon formula card ornament. And, and I'm going to have to go back and forth because I can't remember all the different uh, materials. But we'll definitely need gold, so let's just take out some gold. And I've already forgotten what else I needed. I can't remember how these things are. Silver Siglo Archdemon Formula. Silver Siglo. I need Archdeven formula. They have a whole lot of things that start with the word Archdeven, so sometimes I get a little confused figuring out which thing I want, but I need the Archdeven formula. But I think you saw several things. There we go. And then next I need... Carved ornament, otherworldly shards. You never want to just wander off. Other ornament. Other wooden shards. And I do remember that I needed emeralds, which are in this bank. Okay, should be ready to go. Oops, upgrade. Okay, everything I need. Now, uh, one of these days I'm going to do an enchanting video. I haven't done it yet, but for those of you 
who are not aware, who used to play the game a few years ago and you quit, um, you remember all the hassles with upgrading equipment while you were leveling and it would be all those fails and then you get to plus nine, then you get master work scrolls and you could finally get to plus 12 after 20 or 30 fails. <laughs> They've completely revamped the entire enchanting system, uh, especially for the leveling up gear and weapons. When you are leveling from 1 through 49, or I'm sorry, 1 through 64, um, all the gear and weapons you pick up, you will have a 100% chance to enchant. So you don't have to worry about failing while you're doing leveling gear. Um, the Now you use uh, relic fragments and relic shards. That's it. There's no more of the old stuff that we had with the scrolls and the whatever the stuff was. I don't even remember now. Uh, it, it's much more simplified. It's much easier. If you haven't played in a long time and that used to frustrate you, don't worry about that anymore. That's simple. Now, when you get to the end game gear, uh, you, you know, you're talking frost metal and then daylight accessories and stuff. It's no longer 100% chance. Reduced chance. And then you get an improved chance if you get item experience points, which, as I showed you on this one, I have zero. Uh, the max that I could get would be 80,638. I would continue to get more experience points, but my success chance rate would not go any higher from that point. Now, my beginning success chance is only 36% with no item XT. I don't know what it would be if I went and got all the item XT, but for these purposes, I'm not doing so. For in-game gear, you're going to get an idea, I believe, <laughs> what fails look like. So... Uh, I'm going to hit Y at the bottom uh, because I'm on Xbox. If you're on PlayStation, it'll tell you what button you need. Do I really want to try to upgrade it? Yes, I do. Wow. That was lucky. Okay. I, I, I succeeded. Sweet. All right. Uh, what is this? A Valkyrie? Okay. I think, for, well, I have so many crit factor things. I'm going to go for power on her uh, just because I have a lot of, uh, oh, she's not, does she have a bracelet? I don't know. Okay, so I'm, it really doesn't matter what you pick. Those were your options. You saw the options. Uh, you'll pick whatever you want. Okay, so we went from Daylight to Entropy. Now we're going to try for Ethereal, which is going to be different stuff. Now i got to go back to the bank. Silver plates, scavenge supplies. Silver plate. Scavenge supplies. I remember Dragon Skull and Devil's Claws. There we go. What was the. I don't remember. Okay. Let's look again. See what other stuff I needed. Like I said, I can't memorize the entire list. My. my I have Swiss cheese memory. My memory is full of holes. Okay. Oh, diamonds. That's the only thing left. Okay. I don't need more stuff. Uh, this bag. Diamonds. Okay. Where do you have gold? Every time you enchant, you're going to need gold. Or, I'm sorry, not enchant. Upgrade. Um, when you're talking about your gear, like I said, this is just an alternate character I don't play. Uh, I think I created her because uh, they were having a special leveling event, and I love the leveling events, getting all the different things. And I'm pretty sure when they first introduced Elans as Valkyries, because originally Valkyries could only be a Castanic, a female Castanic, uh, I think that they had a special leveling event that I decided to go ahead and enjoy, because I always enjoy the leveling events. So she's only wearing, like, frost metal and junk. But your gear over here, you enchant. And your weapons, you enchant, and then you upgrade once you get them to, like, plus nine or whatever. When it comes to your accessories here, there's no enchanting. It's all upgrade. You simply go straight from one type of accessory to a different type of accessory. You don't have, like, a plus one necklace and a plus two necklace. You simply have different levels of, uh, or tiers, or whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're going to go back to upgrade here. Now, you can see I have a... Wonderful 15% chance of ethereal. Again, I have zero item experience points uh, to get the max percentage chance, which wouldn't be 100%, but it would be much higher than 15%. I'd have to go out and earn 158,994 
item XP. Now, for every little bit of item XP, it, 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 take my success chance up a little, a little, a little, but the, the most success chance it will increase is that max item XP number right there. I don't think you guys want to sit here and wait for me to go and kill Island of Dawn monsters and Sealy Wood bands or whatever. So I'm going to try to power through this. I'm going to do the old brute, brute force approach, see how lucky we get. All right, so we're going to go from entropy to ethereal. Do I really want to do it? Yes. And that's what your first fail looks like when you try to it. But you see, now I have a 16% chance. I did have a 15. It gave me an extra 1% chance because I had a fail. Every time you fail on an enchant or an upgrade, it increases your conversion success chance. In this case, it only gave me an extra 1%, but I'll take it. You know, so let's give it another shot. Ethereal circlet. Wow. Okay, I am lucky today. I can't believe this. I should probably go do all my enchanting videos right now because I'm apparently pretty lucky today. And she's a Valkyrie. I'm going to give her power just because I have so much crit stuff on her already. All right, so we have the Ethereal Circlet. That's what we need. That is the highest level of Circlet without it being improved. So, uh, upgrade. Now, you can see that... and. I'll give you a moment in case you want to look at what the uh, ethereal. Because if you're shooting for the ethereal, you'll you'll want to know what the uh, effects are. So there they are right there. I'm not going to sit there and read them to you one at a time. You can always pause the video and memorize them or do whatever you want to do with them. So if I want to go to Improved Transcendent, which is going to give us what that says over there, there's only a 10% chance. And there is no item XP for an improved transcendent you just got to sit here and waste a bunch of materials until you get it now whoops upgrade okay now this is the important part it's still the same stuff we had to get to the ethereal but now we need an enigmatic mistel circlet level three okay it says enigmatic but don't worry about the enigmatic part it, it mistel circlet level three you need one of those to get the improved transcendent so the next day, I don't have a level three yet, so I'm going to go to my Mistel Circle of One. One oh, almost set up. Okay. All right. I almost forgot. If I try to go to my menu, my only option is destroy because I have not yet worn it. I have to soul bind it first before I can upgrade it. Now it is soul bound because I put it on. I'm not going to take it off because I've already soul bound it. Now I can upgrade. See, now I have two options. But until you put it on that first time and soul bind it. Now the nice thing with the Mistel circlet is I have a 100% chance. As long as I got the stuff to do it, I get a 100% chance to upgrade the Mistel circlet. So for the Mistel circlet, 20,000 gold and you need 15 marks of fate. Now the marks of fate you can see to the right there. Uh, recommended sources are Guardian Legion missions, the Velika Defense which is, uh, I, I believe, it's a world event. It, it, it's not going to be up in your Vanguard request. It's a world event. So you go there. Uh, and instance matching rewards. Now, I, I don't know about the instance matching part because I'm a solo player, so I don't even do multiplayer dungeons. Uh, but I know some of the drops from some of those dungeons that you would be doing are bonus material box four. And the four is a Roman numeral, so it's IV. Uh, you can actually buy those you can go do the dungeons and get them for drops, or you can go to a trade broker and buy them. In fact, I'm going to do it real quick. As you can see, you go to the trade broker. And I forgot to mention this in my other video when I was talking about all the bounty hunter tokens and, and uh, the brooches for it. Um, and, and actually, it's a bonus material box for but if you just type in math, because trade broker search, you can do partial words, and it'll show, but you got to be careful with that because sometimes it'll be a part of a word where there are all kind of different words that, that it starts with. And because the four is a Roman numeral for what I'm searching, IV. Bonus material box four. And right now, the cheapest are 315 gold, and they'll go up higher to crazy amounts where no one's actually going to buy them, but people are listening. I'm hoping someone will. Uh, these are the items you drop from the bonus material boxes. So the bonus material boxes, these drop in some of the dungeons. You just check in the uh, instance matching list or the Vanguard request list to see what each of the dungeons drops. Uh, and if it says bonus material box four, you can see the list there of items you can get, including, where is it? 
Where is it? Mark of faith. There it is. Down near the bottom, right above concentrated ectoplasm. Uh, hazard scale, or tan's horn, devil's claws. Those things were needed uh, with the hunter brooches, bounty hunter brooches. Uh, you can get them from these boxes, which you can either go do to dungeons and get these as drops. Or you're like I'm showing you right now, you can go to the trade broker and buy them if you have enough gold. Uh, and if you don't have gold, you can earn gold all kind of ways. You can go out and gather certain materials that you see in the trade broker or sell them pretty well and sell those materials. You can enchant things in your enchanting menu that you see in the trade broker selling well and do that. If you want to spend actual money money, you can go to Terra store and buy items from there and sell them in the trade broker. There's a lot of ways to, and of course, if you're doing quests, uh, the red line quests or even the yellow side quests, those give you gold. So there, there's plenty of ways in the game to make gold if you want to buy through a trade broker. And again, if you want to uh, get these drops, you can go do the dungeons to drop them. I personally don't do dungeons, so I, not multiplayer dungeons. I do the solo dungeons, but not the multiplayers. But the solo dungeons don't drop this kind of thing. Okay. Let me get near the banker again because I don't want to hear. All right. Now that we've gone through all of that, and I'm giving you all kind of uh, confusing information that you probably didn't want to begin with. Go back to the Mistel circlet to upgrade. Okay, to get to circlet 2, you see that you need 20,000 gold, 15 marks of fate. Yes, I do want to do that. And boom, 100% chance, no problem. Now, there are no uh, extra enigmatic things that you choose from a Mistel circlet. It's just got set like circle two. You can see what circle two does for you right over there. We saw the circle one already. And to upgrade to a Mistel circle three, which we're trying to get to, we need 40,000 gold and 30 marks of fate. Yep, I want to do that. And there we go. Okay, so now that we have a Mistel circle three, we can go back to our ethereal circle. Because we're currently working on the improved transcendent circlet. Go back to upgrade. Now, let's hope we get lucky again. We see now we do have our enigmatic Mistel circlet 3. You can see here the other materials that are required in case you're planning ahead and trying to farm for uh, enchanting materials beforehand. All right. Now we're going to go for that improved transcendent circlet. 10% chance. Cross your fingers. All right, that's what my first fail looks like. And you see now I have a whole big 11% chance. Where I did have only a 10% chance. It says I'm missing some. Oh, I forgot about. Oh, my God, I forgot about that part. Okay. The Enigmatic Mistel Circlet 3. You use it as an enchanting material every try. So now I need another Enigmatic Mistel Circlet 3. Now, luckily, the Mistel circlets you can buy. Uh, so, I'll keep forgetting. First, I have to soul bind it. Now, I can upgrade it to a 2. Now, I can upgrade it to a 3. All right, now I have another Mistel Circle 3. Back to my Ethereal. Try to upgrade it. 11%. Everyone cross your fingers. Cross them hard. That's what my second fail looks like. And now I have 12% conversion success chance rate. I forgot how difficult this was before I started this video. My goodness. Um, this one. Do I have, oh, luckily I have some. Luckily they're cheap because uh, you get them with the your your Vanguard credits. Uh, luckily they're only like three credits each, so so you go do a single Vanguard mission request thing, and you're gonna have enough to buy at least one. I, I'm just gonna buy like four or five right now, just to. Maybe I'm just gonna stand here just on the be on the safe side. All right, there's uh, bought extra Mistel circlets. I'll just destroy them later if I don't know. I just don't want to have to keep going back in the shop. All right, ethereal circlet. Try this again. Now we have. Okay, wait, again, we don't have a Mistel circlet three because we had to use that one for the 
upgrading. I'm going to burn through a lot more stuff than I have to remember. Soulbind first. Now I can... But it can't be selected when I upgrade, so I have to deselect it. Now I have to take it up to a circle of two. Yep. Upgrade it to a three. Because I need it as enchanting material. Yep. Alright, and I'm back in hell again. Okay. Ethereal circlet. And, and, and this is giving you an idea, and you can see I, I have my circle three again now because I just made one. Giving you an idea, when you get to the end game gear, it's not nearly as easy to upgrade because of the small percentage chances. And only now I have a whole 13% chance because it gave me an extra 3% chance now that it's all went to the bottom. Keep forgetting soul bond first otherwise i can't upgrade it the stills two the stills three i was hoping i would be as lucky as I was with those other things. Okay, back to the ethereal circle. Try to upgrade. Now I have another enigmatic mistel circle with three. Upgrade. Yes, please. Cross your fingers. Nope. Now I have a 14% chance of giving an extra 1% chance. That's every time. Now we have to create another mistel circle with three to even have the enchanting material to try that again. But at least these are 100% chances to get the Mastels upgraded. So, woo! Alright, now I have a Mastels 3 again. Go back to my Ethereal. We're still trying to get that improved Transcendent Circle. Now, 14% chance. Everyone cross your fingers hard. Oh! <gasps> Got it! Yes! What do we have? Like, 4 or 5? Fails, something like that. I lucked out, actually. You may go through more fails than that. All right. I am going to give her Crit Factor just... No, power. Because I have enough... I have a bunch of other Crit Factor things, so I'm going to work on her power. You decide, but these are your options for your improved Transcendent Circle. Complete it. Yes. All right. And this is our improved Transcendent Circle. So, uh, if you've been wondering what it is, if you want to shoot for it, those are all of your bonus effects that you get from it. And the thing I really want to point out is one of the things it does is it increases the, your Apex skill damages by 1.5%. Now, I did a, another video that showed the entire Apex quest line to get your special Apex skills. With the improved Transcendent Circle, you're going to improve those skills by 1.5%, and then you have... Other options, the optional one at the bottom, increase power by four. I chose that out of those selections that I showed to you. Uh, can't trade it, no sale value. Uh, but th those are what you'll get once you get the improved transcendent circlet and you saw what materials it took to get there. And you saw that it can sometimes be quite a daunting task to actually get the uh, get, it, get it upgraded. Okay, now. We are done with the Improved Transcendent Circlet. We are now going to move on to the Improved Mistel Circlet. So we're going to start with our Mistel Circlet 1. And I keep forgetting, I have to soul bind it first, otherwise I can't upgrade it. I forget every time, every single time I've done that. But now I cannot uh, do anything with it until I deselect it. I can't have it. I can't be wearing it and upgrade it at the same time. And, and that goes for pretty much all the gear, I think. Okay. Now, again, the nice thing with the Mustel circlet is you get a hundred percent chance as long as you have the gold and the marks of faith that you need. Circlet one, if you look to your right, those are your bonus effects that you get from it. We're going for level two, which is going to give you these bonus effects. Okay, if you want to pause the video or something. Alright, so I'm going to go upgrade. Yes, I do. There we go. Like I said, 100% chance. And there are no bonus effects that you have to choose from. It's, they're set. So, it's just done. We can wear it. If you don't have enough marks of faith, enough gold, whatever, and you just upgraded to two, you want to wear it, go ahead and wear it, you know. Uh, oh, but again, those are your bonus 
effects for your circle of two. Okay, and now to go from two to three, we need 40,000 gold. Then we need 30 marks of bait. Upgrade, yes. Upgrade it. There we go. And now you can take a look and you can see what the bonus effects are once you're at level three for your Mastella circlet. And, and you can see the Mastella circlet is primarily to increase your apex skills. Because you can see at level three, we're increasing our apex skill damage about two point by two percent, which is already higher than than what it was from the improved transcendent circlet. All right, so and, and again, you'll get the uh, Mistel circlet when you complete the apex quest line. So you you'll end up getting the circlet there. Okay, for level four, we're going to need eighty thousand gold and sixty marks of fate. And once you're at Mistel Circuit level four, those are your bonus effects, and including we're now increasing our Apex skill damage by 2.5%. Now we can go ahead and upgrade again. And to get to Mistel Circuit five, we're going to need 160,000 gold and 120 marks of fate. But again, conversion success chance is 100%. You can't fail on the Mistel Circuits when you're upgrading them. That is one of the wonderful things about them. And now we are in Mistel Circlet 5. And our Apex skill damage is now increased by 3%. Okay. Now, we want to upgrade to uh, improve Mistel Circlet. We need 320,000 gold. We need 180 marks of fate. But we also need an Ethereal Circlet. So guess what me that means I get to do? Just for you guys, just for you guys, just so you can see it. I'm going to go back to my plain old daylight circlet. Go through all of this again. Uh, you can't enchant. Oh, okay, it's still enigmatic. I'm going to go ahead and give it power. It doesn't matter because uh, I'm not actually going to have this particular circlet later. I'm going to use it as a piece of enchanting material for uh, my improved Mistel circlet when I get to it. Okay, so here we go, people. I uh, currently got 36% chance. We already went through all this. I'm trying to get to entropy. That's what a fail looks like. Oh, what? I've got on this. I'm, I, I'm playing the lottery tonight. i got to play a lot. My luck is amazing today, guys. You, you guys are lucky for me. That's what it is. You guys are making me lucky. Thank you all. Okay, now we went to entropy. Now we're going to go for uh, Ethereal. We already went through all this uh, with the when I was doing the Improved Transcendent Circle. Board. That's what a fail looks like right there. Okay, cross your fingers, everyone. Here we go. Let's try it again. Ethereal. 16% chance. Oh, my God. I'm playing the lottery tonight. I have to. <laughs> you, you guys are just lucky. That's all it is. I, I know that's what it is. Okay. So I needed my ethereal circlet to have that as an enchanting material to get my Mistel circlet, uh, improve Mistel circlet. So now I can go back to the Mistel circlet five, go to upgrade. Now you'll notice that at least when you're going to improve Mistel circlet, 100% chance, I'm not going to lose anything. And to get to the improved Mistel circlet from Mistel circlet five, we need 320,000 gold. We need 180 marks of fate. And we need one enigmatic ethereal circlet, which I just made. That's why I didn't even bother to, you know, do whatever. Okay. So we are going to upgrade to an improved Mistel circlet. Ta-da! And again, with Mistels, there's nothing to choose. It, it has set effects. You don't have uh, effects to choose from. Now, you can see the bonus effects that you get from an improved Mistel circlet. Um, including, it increases your apex skill damage by 5%. Now, here's the big difference between the Improved Mistels and the Improved Transcendent. Back to the Improved Transcendent, uh, look at all the, the Defense Modifier 975, MP 616, Crit Resistance 24, Endurance 13, Power 1, Concentration 4. Improved Transcendent. All those things I just mentioned are exactly the same until you get to the bottom. The Improved Transcendent, we have the additional bonus of increasing power by four or 
you get to choose out of those four options. Okay, so you, I, I happen to pick power by four. You can increase your crit factor, your endurance, your crit resistance, whatever you want to do. Uh, we have that on the improved transcendent circlet. We do not have that on the improved mistel circlet. However, on the improved mistel circlet, you increase your apex skill damage by 5%. And if you see what kind of damage some of those apex skills can do at 5%, that's a lot of HP you're knocking off with some boss monsters you're beating up on. Now, when you go back to improve Transcendent Circlet, you're still increasing apex skill damage, damage but only by 1.5%. So... If you know you're only going to be stuck with one because they quit selling the circlets and stuff, uh, and you're trying to decide which one you're going to shoot for, now you know what your bonus effects are going to be by the time you get to that point. So if you want to start planning ahead and, and on what, which way you're going to go with it, that's the big difference. Improved Transcendent Circlet, 1.5% on your Apex Skill Damage, but you get to choose another bonus effect like power, crit, crit resistance. Improvement stealth circlet, you don't get that one extra bonus effect like power or crit, but you get a 5% increase on your apex skill damages. Okay, so that's where your decision is going to come in. Or even if you think you will be able to get both later on and you're trying to decide which one to go for first, there you go. Okay, so it's a matter of whether you want your apex skills to be increased by 5% damage or if you only want them improved by 1.5% damage, but you you need that extra power or that extra crit or that extra crit resistance or whatever uh, those options are. Okay. And again, the, these are the four options you get. So, so that's the deciding factor right there. Uh, so you got to see what all the enchanting materials are that you need to get actually from daylight to improve Transcendent Circlet. And then from a Mistel Circlet 1 to an improved Mistel circlet, including the uh, uh, enigmatic ethereal circlet that you needed to, to make that transition. Okay, so, did your bonus effects for improved Mistel circlet? Those are your bonus effects, improved transcendent circlet. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and take care until next time.